Hi, welcome to Iron Fryer. Hey, welcome to Iron Fryer. It's the best little town by a damn sight. Location, only 40 minutes from the nation's capital. And close to the major arteries leading to Toronto and Montreal, Arnprior has all of the facilities and attributes of a city and is proud of the small community neighborliness that you don't see in the city. What makes a great town? Our empire is the people. You ask them to give for whatever reason, they give. Gotta love the people. They have a lot of pride in their town. They, um, they, they just like to enjoy themselves. And for our fireworks on July 1st, it's a huge do. And it's nice when you see the whole town come out for that one night, it's families, it's, it's kids, and you just got the whole town out for this one, one important night. And they could try to Ottawa if they chose, but some, I think, majority stay within town to take part in the activity. Arnprior is an attractive location for an increasing number of multinational companies. Arnprior's major employers can and do conduct business with the world in aerospace, high-tech, pharmaceuticals, primary resource, and chemical and industrial products. One of the advantages that Arnprior has over the city for the attraction of new business is the sheer cost of doing business. As we can see from the, uh, from the buildings here on our main street, the, the per square foot cost of rental space would be much lower than in the city. Our business taxes are much lower. And in addition to that, the property taxes for those that own the, own the properties are much lower. As well, in an increasingly global village, we have a lot of entrepreneurial and professional people who have chosen to live and work out of Arnprior. Architects, graphic designers, authors and book publishers, artists, international development project officers, and a range of consultants. A wonderful mix of people who are designing, producing, and developing quality products and services which they are marketing locally, nationally, and internationally out of Arnprior. I think that Arnprior has a lot of great attributes and um, we have the infrastructure in place to service businesses coming into town, whether it be water, sewer, um, electrical communication, we have all of that in place. Um, to service any type of industry and or commercial um, business that may want to locate here. We have a large workforce ready and able to supply the labor for any business people. On the far corner is Clancy's Drugstore, which has, it's a landmark in this community. It's been on that corner for nearly 50 years. You know, uh, my husband and I were looking for a store to buy a drugstore. We were both pharmacists. And uh, 44 years ago, we came to Arn Pryor and saw this store that we have here in the building, and we decided to buy it. And we've been here ever since. And it's one of the best moves that we ever made to move to Arn Pryor. Arn Pryor was first settled by the Scottish in 1825. In its day, the grist mills and sawmills made Arn Pryor one of the largest centers of sawed lumber in North America. Times change. And Arnprior has survived, grown, and adapted with the times. This town has everything. It's got two rivers, two gorgeous rivers. It has wonderful manufacturing plants. It's got a beautiful hospital, excellent schools. We've got several uh, elementary schools and a one beautiful great big high school. There's all kinds of sports around. You don't have to go thousands of miles to enjoy skiing or skating. And we've got a lovely sports plex where the young people can be and learn to skate and play hockey and swim. There isn't anything that, you don't, that we don't have here. The high school is next to one of Arnprior's real treasures, the Grove. 
57 acres of old growth forest right in the middle of town. The grove is a living resource that is enjoyed, protected, and explored year round. I really like sports. Iron Prior has a lot of great facilities, a nice uh, pool and all sorts of stuff, I like to swim. <laughs> We have uh, kids playing hockey in Europe. We've um, a couple of kids that are playing in the NHL. One has came up, finished the NHL. One is there now. Uh, we have uh, kids that have come up through a minor ball system, and uh, now be one is in the U.S. college right now. Two or three of them are being scouted by U.S. colleges. Uh, we have figure skaters that uh, are on the brink of uh, uh, maybe not making the Olympic team, at least competing at the Olympic level. We have swimmers that. Uh, have uh, broken Canadian rec and world records in swimming uh, and again at the brink of the Olympics. So you, the quality of athlete that comes out of here is phenomenal and uh, it really has to, it's based on the fact that it, a lot of it comes from the, not only facilities that we are able to offer the young athletes that come here but the coaching and the dedication and the hours that the coaches put in here and the fact that they're willing to work one-on-one -on -one with the kids, uh, put in many, many more hours than, uh, than could probably be expected of the people that work here with the kids. And that's one thing about Arn Prior too that I feel I must mention is the fact that we have so many volunteers so that I feel that you couldn't live in a better place. Oh, there's Pat Grenier. I've known him since he was a little fellow. I'm a Spencer. You know, uh, I've been an Arn Prior resident all my life. I was born in that hospital down there. Uh, there's something about the character of the, of the town the people, the, the buildings, you see it and everybody. You know everybody. Uh, hey. Hi. Hi how you doing? Good. And uh, some people you don't know, though. Uh, you, you, there's a lot of new people coming to the town all the time. But uh, generally, we, we all uh, know everybody else. And it's a great place to be. You know, this river is one of our greatest assets. In a couple of minutes, you can be just down over that rise and on your boat. And you go out and watch the most glorious sunsets and, it, and everything on the Ottawa River. You know, I wonder if other people in the world feel the same way about their town. see the beautiful trees and the lovely flowers that there are and just the fact that it's home that makes you feel good. It's a great place to live. You, you're, you know everybody. It's a, it's a great feeling to walk down the street and see people that you know. It's a, it's a safe feeling actually. Empire is a nice place to visit but a great place to live.